This is how we cooked the greatest meal of Gordon Ramsay's life. Well, at least a meal that he seemed to enjoy. Supernatural. All right, so we had Gordon Ramsay in here on Last Meals, and we cooked an incredible meal for him. He absolutely loved the food, and everybody in this freaking room did their jobs that day. It truly was our Super Bowl. But we got a couple comments being like, hey, can you actually show us the recipes and how you cooked that delicious food? And that's exactly what we're going to do today. Also, we're going to be showing you some really awesome behind the scenes footage and a couple photos that y'all have never seen uh, because this really was a meaningful day for us. It was sort of a career defining moment, at least for myself. I hope y'all feel that way, uh, making especially some British food for one of the most Michelin starred chefs of all time. So without further ado, here's how we made and then can we do like a title card that's like, Gordon Ramsay's last meal. And then, but do like kind of monster truck style graphics. Yeah. Gordon Ramsay's last meal. And then like a really cool explosion. So a lot of people ask us, they go, how did you get Gordon Ramsay on your show? And it's actually a crazy story. So he was like, do you want to come on my show? And we're like, yeah, we we're like, do you want to come on our show? And he's like, yeah. I'm, that's great. I'm really happy for you. Yeah. Behind the scenes of the business, you know, Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I also like to plan my first interactions with people in the green room, right? Because I constantly run through the potential scripts that I'm going to have throughout any given day in my head, and that's why I don't sleep well at night. Sure. And so I remember a funny anecdote that a friend told me who worked with Gordon Ramsay going to shoot one. So they were like, he only wears helmet length t-shirts. And one time we were shooting in Vegas, and he bought out every helmet length t-shirt, every oh. shirt in Vegas, and I couldn't get my helmet length t-shirt. So I was like, great. Fun anecdote shows that I have friends in high places and so I went to Gordon Ramsay, and we're both wearing black t-shirts. And he goes, ah, oh, we're matching today. And I was like, yeah, by the way, helmet length t-shirts. I heard you once bought out every helmet length t-shirt. And he goes, I've never worn a helmet length t-shirt in my life. Whoa, do you know that I'm wearing a helmet length shirt today? I do, ich liebe der helmet lang. Yeah, oh. <laughs> wunderbar. Nicole, tell, what? What's tell up? what we're making, man. Oh, so uh, we're making Gordon Ramsay's English breakfast. Mm -hmm. um, so we actually bought his master class to learn how to make his scrambled eggs. We spent about $250 to sit down and learn how to cook how this man cooks. Because yeah, we know how to make scrambled eggs, we know how to make beef wellington, but do we know how to make it the way Gordon does? Not necessarily. And he has like a very famous ultra specific scrambled egg recipe. Yes, he does. Also, he just initially asked for like a full English breakfast, which, you know, everybody knows what's in it. Black pudding, rashers, bangers, tomatoes, fried bread, yada yada. Mm -hmm. We asked the stupid question, how do you want your eggs cooked? And he responded with like, Come on! I, I'm, oh, it was written, an email written in his voice was like, come on, I've made my entire career off of scrambled eggs. Was it really him speaking though? Or was that like his like assistant speaking I, th in his I think voice? maybe, shout out to Justin from his team. I oh, agree yeah? with you, it was probably Justin, but I think he writes in Gordon Ramsay's voice. That's before. really funny. Uh, so what are you doing? Yeah. You, you so whisk the eggs together. I whisk five eggs together, and now I have some pads of butter in here, and I have a very, very low heat going on on my burner. And it's very important to constantly, he says you need to constantly scrape the bottom of the pan. This is how I'm scraping. Can you do this? Sorry, I was Very trying to good. hold in a burp. Oh, nice. So, <laughs> I had to take um, all my concentration. I am literally just going to constantly move and scrape this egg concoction. No salt. He says if you add salt before, it toughens the eggs and makes and them kind of get right. a little leaky. And he's right. We found that out. Yeah. And we busted myth his munchers. own myth in Myth Munchers, but he was absolutely correct. Yeah. While you're doing that, uh, yeah. they call a full English breakfast a fry-up. Yeah. Because you really just fry it all in the same ah! griddle. Oh my god. Ah yeah, come on. I just want to feel something like I did that day with Gordon. So ah. we're going to do that. We're just going to add -hoo -hoo -hoo, black pudding, which is blood sausage. Yep. Um, rashers, which are back bacon. So you're seeing the actual loin that's coming through on that as well is, yeah, let's turn the pan hotter instead of colder. Uh, and then English bangers, which you are one of my favorite sausages. You know there's a person standing here? You almost put, took my eye out with that thing. <laughs> now, also a lot of people were like, why didn't Gordon Ramsay eat more of the food? Here's the thing. What are you talking about? Well, he did, he did. What he ate everything about? and he liked it, but like, you know, it's tough. This is a full meal. Also, we yeah. ate everything behind yeah. the scenes. But anyways, uh, he was telling us, he was like, we're opening a new restaurant and I just did a tasting for them. And he was like, I had to try nine different variations of noodle bowls. Wow. Right, so he's like, I'm still down to eat and this looks great, but like, just know that I am very full. Uh, and people have real lives out of this. And also, pretty cool to know that Gordon Ramsay's actually tasting all of the food in all his restaurants. He cares. Dude, he really, man, That's listen. Pretty I, badass. I have like said some genuinely critical things about Gordon Ramsay before that, and yeah. things that I believe, you know what I mean? But you do that about everybody. You do that about me, you do that about 
Taylor. I'm critical of Taylor. Uh, Taylor, don't like the the boots with that jacket. <laughs> Kidding, you really take a lot of style advice from Taylor. That's candy one. Oh, also, Josh, uh, we should talk about the time lapse that Mike Paisley, who is like the coolest guy that works at Mythical. He, other than you, Josh. Sorry. Um, um, he like he just decided like to set up a camera and do a time lapse of the kitcheneers in the kitchen. Yeah, so that's how fast <laughs> we actually work. Like that wasn't edited even a little bit. Well, I don't know if a lot of people know. So you know, I don't cook the food for last meals mm -hmm. because I'm obviously sitting there and uh, you know doing that. And also, they're better at cooking than I am a lot of the times. Um, but they actually have like a full monitor set up a outside in the kitchen. Yeah. This is the kitchen where people are like microwaving their lunches and stuff. I don't know, man. I, I love the show we do. I love the little team that we got. Well, it's a good time. It's a good it's a little, time. You know, Misfit Band of Pirates. How are those eggs going? Because here's uh, the thing at Denny's. Do you see? They would have had see? 50 orders of scrambled eggs out by now. So do you, do, camera, hey, camera, hey, what's up? Do you see this? Do you see how it's making like a little bit of a film here and I'm just collecting the curds and putting them back in? I hate this bread. No, that's the fried bread. Which Gordon you... Ramsay's not here. We're just doing it for show. No, can you can, how about this? How about you can cut it in half and you can have half of it? <laughs> okay, so my eggs are nice and custardy. And in order to stop the cooking process, I'm going to thwap some uh, creme fraiche in there. Mix it up. Which half can I eat? Up to you. Oh, the ugly one. Thank you. You get to eat the ugly one. That's why I asked. And then a spring. No, don't put in the freaking eggs, yeah, ugly. Just let me eat some beans. Just... I'm so hungry. Oh, you can eat the beans. I'm so and then hungry. I add some salt and then a few scrounges of black pepper. We are not adding truffle to this because Gordon's mom does not want us to. Yeah, we he didn't specifically ask for white truffle, but we thought we'd like super impress him by <laughs> just breaking out like a two hundred dollar yeah, truffle. Yeah. And then we did, and he was like, "Oh, me mom wouldn't have this." All right, so this texture right here is perfect. We're gonna plate this up with the beans and everything. Um, and now you get to see Gordon enjoy it. Hello. Gordon, these are incredible culinary producers. We got Nicole, Nicole. 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 we got me. Nice they do fantastic job, work. Enjoy. God almighty. What? Look at this. Oh my God, I'll wipe the sweat off of me. Jesus, come on. <laughs> Uh, is that truffle on the scrambled eggs? We'll save it for camera. We'll save it for Sorry. camera. Up, 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 by the way. <laughs> this is amateur oh doing on our set. Wow. Wow. Welcome wow. to partway through the process of cooking a beef wellington. <laughs> for, for Gordon Ramsay, excuse me. For, it's his for him. It's his for him. Yeah, I watched the master class probably like five times uh, yeah, leading up to this. Yeah. Owie! Um, very, very scary. The scariest thing I've ever done, probably. My favorite part was watching Trevor be in front of the TV like this. I was terrified, and it was not a bit. I mean, it was like legitimate when he was cutting into it. And you don't know what it's gonna look like inside. You can do everything right, you yep. can feel so good about it, mm -hmm. but until you cut it open, you can't know what it's gonna look like in there. So it was pretty terrifying. Um, but we've got that done. Oh, that's pretty. You wanna give that one to me? Yeah, so yeah. I mustard it? Yes, yeah, so we're gonna pop this over. Um, important part of the welly is getting that mustarded up. Mustard. Surely I can get this out of the way. Oh yeah. Surely, uh -huh. that's an open flame. To be honest, when I saw Gordon Ramsay, I thought his head was gonna be a lot bigger because a lot of people like to make fun of him and say that he has a large head. Um, it's pretty screwed up. It's pretty regular. Um, well, also the cardboard cutout that we have of him really makes his head seem gigantic. Yeah, yeah, so that's probably I don't what know. it was. Um, yeah. yeah, and I made a whole video, a whole TikTok about it. It'll probably yeah. show a little bit um, here right now. Yeah, that was, that was kind of how it went. Very terrifying, very fulfilling experience. So we're gonna start with the wrapping process. And honestly, a beef wellington, it's, it's very like, you can prep it out a lot. Mm -hmm. There's really just a few minutes of like, go, go, go. And that's once you're wrapping it in the puff pastry. Like this process, we've got the duck cells already made. Mushrooms. Um, yeah, it's cooked It's not mushrooms. fancy. You just chop up portobello mushrooms and cook them with salt and pepper. Uh, but it seems fancy. We got some prosciutto. Prosciutto, you can buy it at your local grocery store. Chive crepes, you can use normal, regular crepes, but okay. he does it with chives. And we're gonna square that off, right? And yeah. then we have some puff pastry that we need to grab. Yeah, we'll, we'll grab that in a sec, because we gotta wrap. Never mind. We gotta wrap. <laughs> Um, there is a bit of waiting, a bit of resting that you do um, with these. Uh, we're gonna wrap this up, get it wrapped, and then we're gonna unwrap it to rewrap it. A lot of wrapping. Uh, we're starting with the projutes. So we're getting the flat ones. Oh no, it's got the paper. That was Lily's fault. It's got the paper underneath. Lily, you put this paper here? She put the paper. It's plastic. It's sabotage. It's microplastics in my projutes. Ladies out as flat as possible. Um, that's the beautiful part about a Wellington, is it's got all those really lovely thin layers going in there. 
Um, and you really want to season every part of the dish that's very important. I I'm telling you, I watched this masterclass so many times, I could probably yeah. like recite it uh, at this point. Um, and then Josh is like, Trevor, we're gonna make a video where you show people how to make the beef wellington. I'm like, what, he already made one. <laughs> It was, it was beautiful watching a master at work and yeah. following yeah. every single step religiously. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm really not. Nice. Really um, nice. Honestly, like this isn't a crazy, like yeah. difficult or expensive dish to make. That's just the, the meat is like the most expensive part. Okay, do you want me to grab the beef? Are we putting it over this? Wait, hold on, check this out. Cause Gordon, he says you gotta season every part of the dish. So after he put, this is okay. his master class, after he put that down, he put then he salt. did some salt pepper? and pepper. Yeah, 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 hit it with some pepper. Good um, action happening. Okay, yeah, now we're going beef in. Beef. 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 Hopefully this is enough crepe. I think it is. I've been watching so many people on TikTok make this with salmon. You think Gordon Ramsay would like that too? With salmon? Yeah, it's like a salmon wellington. making a wellington. salmon welly? Yeah. So right. now we're going for the roll. Do you want to do the roll? Yeah, why not? Okay, so teach you're going to start me, with the plastic. Me. Okay. And then yeah, you're going to like slowly push it over. Okay, do I use my fingers? Uh, you can. can. Touch it? You can if you want to lock that in. Okay. You're going to get that all the way to the bottom. Wait, 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 pause. Bring it back, bring it back. I did this like four times, don't worry. I did this like four times when I was making it. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it okay, back. Okay, what, what happened, yeah, 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 what, no, happened? No, no. what happened? No, it's my fault, it's oh, my no, fault. Oh, squishing it out? No, 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 it's my fault, it's my fault, it's my fault. Oh, you forgot this another piece to put here. No, this is just a fat piece of meat. Okay. Every piece of meat is different. That's what they say. You For know, every guy. Every, every single yeah. one is different. For all my ex booze, yeah. Back to the roll, back to the roll. That was my bad, that was my bad, that was my bad. Okay, it's yeah, like yeah. A burrito roll, kind of. Going, yeah, and then uh, pull the plastic back a little bit as you go, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna want to. Oh, this is like. No, oh, that's I see, okay. So I see, yeah, I you see. keep the plastic there. You keep the plastic there. Uh huh. And you push that. Get it as tight as possible. Tight. There you go. There you go. Tight. There you go. There you go. Tight. And there tight. you're in there. Okay. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And then uh -huh. finish that roll in the plastic. Got it. You could put that there. <laughs> <laughs> and twist, twist up the ends. Really give it a twist like a tootsie roll. It's okay. You can give it a roll too. <laughs> Whoa, 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 Wait, whoa! Wait, what did you do to this side? You were flipping it, you don't want to fling it. Why not? Why are you flinging it? <laughs> You're crazy. Whoa! This is rolled the opposite way, that's why. What do you mean? Okay, you do it. You were flinging it. Here you go, this is the way that it is. Okay, the way show me, show me. Oh, so they're twisted like the opposite way. Oh, I see. towards you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really wrap that up tight. Got it. And you tuck that, and then we're gonna let that rest in the fridge for a couple minutes. Get it kind of nice and solid. Yeah. Okay, this is the wrapping portion, which is really the only portion of the Wellington that is like kind of stressful and, mm -hmm. and time timing based. Um, so I'm just gonna take this guy out. Yeah. And we are gonna sort of plop him. How many times did it take you to wrap it the first time? How many times did it take yeah. me? Well, you this said... part, I, I wrapped it. It was it was oh, the okay. one-timer. It was the one-timer. That's okay, that leaks out a little bit because we're gonna trim the edges. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're gonna egg wash. Egg wash the whole thing? All of the whole thing, okay, all okay. around. And really get it in there, yeah. The whole thing to be coated, because this is what's locking locking the puff pastry right. to the crepe. Okay. You don't have to say anything. That's a beautiful part about cooking a beef Wellington is it speaks for you. It does. I mean, the you look thing. at this thing and it, it's just like it's singing. A beef Wellington what is, it is worth a thousand words, is how the old saying goes. Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna sing. The roll. The roll is always the most fun. I just so want to watch them here because it's exciting. We're just gonna come over here, so we're locking in. Yeah, we're locking in. Tuck, like a burrito. Okay. Okay. And then we're coming here. Uh-huh. So much concentration. And then this is the part that wowed me, is he literally takes the ends yeah. of the puff pastry and twists them into the plastic. In the plastic. Mm -hmm. In the plastic. Get these little nibs here. Mm -hmm. We got the little nibs here. Are we tucking those or are we cutting them? We're gonna cut them, but we're gonna let this rest in the fridge for like five minutes okay. just to let it set up for a little bit longer. All right, welcome back. We're back. This is really the moment of truth here. So we've okay. got these twisted up ends. Uh-huh. We're just gonna give them one more. And then this is crazy. He literally just threw the plastic, goes in and just cuts, cuts this it. off. Gets it in there. Trim that off. You're gonna trim this end, same okay. thing. Pretty, looking okay. gorge. Trim the nipple. Now, we're gonna unwrap here. Yeah. He also, like, you can, he, he says you don't have to do this, but you can just take those ends. And just and kinda tuck them? Pinch them and twist them. So the same way that it's already twist. twisted, I'm gonna roll this onto my hand. This is where it gets fun. Okay. Um, Cause it's just in my hand now for the duration of this process. I'm gonna egg wash. V, I just need you to cheer me on. Okay, okay, I'm right here. I just need you to be Go. my support. You're doing great, Trevor. You should be artist of the year. You should have got a Grammy recently. Is that artist of the year, really? You think yeah. I'm capable? Yeah, I think That's so. That's really sweet. 
Um, who won again? I've been doing, I've been practicing my whistling. Yeah, So I me. can do so many songs. Okay. Do um, you want, okay, yeah, do your favorite one for me. Okay. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Okay. Yeah. This is Jurassic Park. Okay. And the beat drops. <laughs> Okay, so we've got all the sides, really yeah. trying to get under there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this is the beautiful part. I've never seen someone do this actually before Gordon, but he used an, the, back. the back of a boning knife to score it, which was really cool. So he kind of went here, uh -huh. and then made one kind of like big longer chunk, Ooh, and so then cute. he just sort of like did these, shoot. He did these little just like kind of leaflets, so he like. Oh, nice. Yeah. Intricate. Great yeah, name. no, it's really pretty. Song I've never year. seen this before. Whistle like, of the she's year. She's just using. Okay, well, hold on. Hold I gotta on. do it this way. Okay, I'm I'm just here supporting you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I don't know where to put my head. No, don't worry, don't worry. The knife is so safe. Okay. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Now onto the tray. Mm -hmm. Trying to leave as much of that egg wash on there. Kind of make sure it's set up. Still round. Okay, now I need you Some to hit it with a sprig of thyme. Just one. Yeah. Are you rubbing kind of, it? No, 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 no. So just kind of set it and like like kind of twist it sort of the bottom mm -hmm. into a little. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, no, you got this, you got this, okay. Yeah, yeah. And now set that there with the tip pointing that way. That's right how he here. did it. This Again, this is how he did it. That's perfect, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah kind yeah, of yeah. press this in. Press, okay. Okay, now I need you to take Ooh. some salt, hit it with more sprinkle of salt. You got it. <laughs> a lot. All right, now we're going into the oven. And I got I got egg all over the bottom of the pan, but Ooh. wait, can you open it? Yeah, I got you. Thank you. Lovely Trevor. And now, and now this is where I prayed for <laughs> like 40 this. minutes. I just prayed for 40 minutes straight. Yeah. Yells. Yeah. There you go. Ooh, that, that looks beautiful. That looks beautiful <laughs> inside. Mate, that's great. Is there a surprise in there? And Trevor, uh, 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 hopefully a well Mate, that looks great. Trevor, who taught Special you how to time. make this beef Wellington? Uh, I watched your master class <laughs> probably five times. Mate, well done. Uh, really well done. Look at the kitchen. Shut up. We're making sticky toffee pudding. So this was. I, I'm not sorry. This <laughs> hey, was... Lily. Hey, Lily. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so we're making <laughs> Gordon Ramsay's dessert course, sticky toffee pudding. Everyone's all like, oh my God, Trevor made beef well. <laughs> so cool. I made the sticky toffee pudding. Dude, and it he was liked awesome. it. It reminded him of his mom in a way I am his mom. I birthed him. You birthed Gordon? Six pounds. How'd you get his big ol'? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Um, we have some dates and some water and some baking soda that have been blended up to make a date paste. And you're just gonna add in all these ingredients and whisk them together. Whisk? And you don't need this. Well, then why do I need this? Why do I have multiple tools? In case you wanna have options. How am I gonna whisk? This doesn't seem whiskable. I'm adding- I think you overestimate how, oh, never mind. Yeah, you don't, you can whisk it. I thought that that was gonna be thicker. So sticky toffee pudding, is the cake itself, which is nice and sticky and gooey. And then we're gonna make it even stickier with this toffee sauce. What ingredients am I putting in here, huh? Well, you tell them. I already put them in, I can't sniff them no more. Nutmeg, cinnamon, uh, uh, cloves. Cloves, those are cloves. Butter. Dates, butter, brown egg. sugar. Yo, yo, Lily, Lily, how much nut am I Megan? Um, half a nut. Actually, that'd be too Thanks, much. Thanks everyone, that was a Trevor original. It's not funny, why is everyone laughing? Okay, so we're gonna let this sugar dissolve in here. How, you're, wait, you said half? I was just kidding, I don't know. I thought half a nut would be funny, but. Half a nut. Why would that be funny? Because some people only have what? one ball. Yeah, yeah, a close friend of mine only has one testicle, okay? I got a sack. Sorry, I prepared. If Whoa, ever, hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> so do I. One? With two. I only have one. So um, if you're ever working with anything like sticky, like honey, or in this case, corn syrup, um, it's a great idea to like line a little ramekin. No way. With plastic and put it in there. And then you just like poke your sack. Shut up. You just gotta Shut poke up. your sack. It looks like it hurts, but it- Shut does. up. You just squeeze it out. And then- Oh my God. And then, and then- you Can we give it up? And then you Everyone? don't clean anything. Can we give it up? Sack, 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 One or two. We love all of them. Okay. Hey, hey, did you put the, the bourbon in yet?
Can you put some in? Can you take this seriously? No, I can't. I physically am incapable. How much you want? Just a little splash around. Come on. Did any get in there? Come on, no. I can't see. Why? Your eyes are open. <laughs> okay, this looks very nice. Did you finish? Like, you haven't finished yet. I'm done. Okay, we're gonna put this in here. Okay. And then we're just gonna let it just go in there Can like that. Can you help from a professional? I don't know if you heard, but I made oh, a beach ball into a Oh, I can hear. <laughs> oh, I'm Trevor and I made a TikTok about it. <laughs> We're gonna bake this at 350 for like 20-ish minutes until it sets, and then, oh God, and then we're gonna add our toffee sauce on top and okay. add a little canelo ice cream. That was awesome, what an achievement. I don't know. Just... Hey, Lily. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> okay, we have, we have our nice, beautiful, luxurious <laughs> toffee sauce. We're just gonna spread it all Oh over. my God! Oh. You wanted to do that. Can you just support me? I was scared. I, I, no, I trust you. I trust you. I just want it like all in there. I want it all in. Well, it's on there. It's not in there because it's, uh, it's... Okay, you know what? Poke some holes in it. That could be well, no, how it I gets in. I don't want to do that. It's your beautiful creation. Oh, this is my beautiful creation. It's a, a freaking beef wellington. I was compliment. What? <laughs> I have PTSD. <laughs> what? We're okay. hanging out with me? Okay, guess what? what We're gonna we do a canal competition. Get ready to lose, Trevor. <laughs> I'm actually like not good at this. I'm gonna need a little <laughs> after this. Trevor, we're gonna do a canal. Stop! <laughs> Pay attention! <laughs> Wait, what are we what are we making the canal out of? Is that spork recommended vanilla ice cream? Hagen da zisa? Hagen da zisa? Um, head over to spork.com, they got great recs. We're using this vanilla ice cream. Uh, they got great stuff, go check it out, spork.com. All right, now tell me about what this is, what we're doing. A canal is um, a little spoon trick that a lot of chefs use, where you do like a push and pull situation. It's like often used for butter and ice cream. If you just want like a nice little slick spoon. What does it look like? It looks like, like a spoon shape. So. You, get, you can get it into this shape. Yeah. You can get it to look like that. Where's the bottle? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna okay, do this. I'm gonna... No, I already f***ed up. This spoon is too- <laughs> Stop <laughs> saying swears! It's a oh, children's actually, show! I actually didn't mean It's to. a children's show, am I right? I think I actually- my ice cream got too melty. I honestly can't do it. I don't want to do it. I'm just what? doing a scoop. I'm going to be honest. In behind the scenes moment, I freaking canelled them and took like an hour to do it. And then I froze them. And then I put it on top. Are you, are you happy? Are you happy? I didn't do it fresh, okay? I'm not listening to you. I'm in the zone. I'm locked in. How do you do it? I, I thought you were good at it. Why? The thing is, it's like, it's like moving around in my... <coughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's moving around. I just can't do it. Look, like, this is why I quit. Stop. Hey, 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 hey. You got to lock in, okay? You got to believe in yourself, okay? I just. And if you can't believe in yourself, then believe in the me that believes in you. And that's not very much. Lily, I think I've said so many. Oh, wow. Those are, those are nice. Those are much better than what I'm doing. Can I just play it like competition? Hold on. Hold on. I'm locked in here. Frick! See, that's how you say a not curse. That's not bad. Cause look that's back. awesome! Wait, don't look at this side. Look at this side. No, that's great. Way to go. Give it up. Round of applause. You know what I think we should do in celebration? E.V. Wellington? <laughs> Jesus Good Christ, canal, chef. look at that. And a creme fraiche as well. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh my God. Amazing. Girls, seriously. Um. And boys. <laughs> Girls and Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes, y'all, wow, we got the wow. three dishes. Wow. Yeah, we made Gordon Ramsay. He sat right in that table. You can smell that seat and it still smells like his helmet length t-shirts that he loves and wears all the time. Uh, oh Lily, do you want to do the ceremonial ice cream of the pudding? Trevor, do you want to slice that up? And yeah. Then grab me a boba strama, suck those eggs through it because it's a pudding. I can't do I it. Have a boba you got it. That's okay. Again, like I said it while I was cooking it, but you never know what it's going to look like inside, you know? 
And I was terrified, I was scared. Um, but this sexy. looks, feels like it looks pretty good. Yeah. That's a perfect. Well, no, this was all V. v. Good this job. was all V. v. Yeah. This was all v. Yeah. I didn't do Freaking nothing. Can I can I serve everyone? Is this yeah. Can I everyone? eat the butt? You want the butt? I like the butt part. Like oh, you part. like the chef? That's the part that the chef eats. Is the butt part? <laughs> I like the butt. Um, well, I'll just give you this all because the butt actually doesn't have any meat in it. Okay, sure. Ah! Oh my God! I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's fine. You got it on a shirt. Or what? I'm it's a piece. I'm line. the worst. My shirt is helmet line. I'm the worst. Hey, Josh, you're supposed to say something before we eat. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Kedushanu B'Vesotov Lahad Like Ne'er Shel Gordon Ramsay. Great. Amen. Amen. Can you throw us over some demi gloss on this side? I got you. Mm. Oh my God, table juice? Is that dessert? Mm. Table juice. Yeah, it's so juicy. Holy Which crap. Which one's mine? <laughs> I just want to say I'm really proud of you guys. I'm really proud of all of us. You know, to see what we've done over the course of four years when we launched Mythical Kitchen. We started out crusting bull testicles and Doritos, and we still do love doing that. But flash to asking Gordon Ramsay about the biggest moments of his career, executing a perfect beef wellington, executing a perfect, uh, what is it called, sticky toffee pudding. Nicole executing uh, eggs that were only slightly overcooked. Um, I'm kidding, they were perfect, they loved it. They're but really, this is very good. special, it means a lot to me to have y'all in my life, to have all of y'all in my oh. life, and the fact that y'all just um, watch us eat beef wellington on the internet, that's a pretty cool, that's a pretty cool thing for me. I want uh, eggs. Oh yeah, give me some eggs, man. Is the camera still rolling? I've been kind of locked in here. I, I want to like put it made. on my beef wellington. Mm. Do, oh, you're, doing a little, you're doing a little brecky welly? I'm just gonna do yeah. that. A little brecky welly. Doesn't that sound good? You know the only thing that could make this better? <laughs> what? Is a little bit of this, oh. am I right? <laughs> yeah, no, um. I don't get the I'm, bit. Do I don't understand either. Hold on. I laugh. No, I was trying to follow his energy. <laughs> you had to be there. <clears throat> oh, I was. Thank you so much for stopping no, by. No, 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 everyone, everyone, everyone. We're eating Gordon Ramsay's last meal. We're sitting at the last meal's table. What do you all think happens when you die? I turn into a tree. And they, and they smoke bad. me. Doesn't for guys, <laughs> doesn't for guys the pee pee get hard? Uh, what? You're thinking of rigor, rigor mortis? mortis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think your pee pee gets, I think it gets hard, but not like engorged as in like um, flush with blood. Like throbbing? No, not not throbbing, definitely not throbbing. <laughs> well, no. you can't throb if you don't have a heartbeat. Well, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It gets hard because oh, the, the I'm necrosis sorry. in the flesh. Look, I'm sorry, everyone. This Lily, really how hard good. are you gonna be when you die? <laughs> I'm so hard. I'm gonna so be hard. as hard as this snuffage. Nicole? I believe in reincarnation and the idea that you know, your soul and your body are two different parts, almost like Cartesian dualism, you know what I mean? Yeah, the extracorporeal and mind versus the physical absolutely. brain. Absolutely, and you know, I think your soul has the ability to travel through different, you know, different vessels almost, mm. while your your mm. physical body might, you know, go All right, thanks so much for stopping by Mythical Kitchen. <laughs> we got new episodes for you every week. Get us up on <laughs> socials at Mythical Kitchen, wherever you got socials. And then we'll release the four hour director's cut version of Nicole talking about uh, reincarnation. What are you gonna get reincarnated as, Nicole? My mother. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey you, yeah you, you like ice cream? Head over to sport.com for their top vanilla ice cream recommendations.